Hi everyone, welcome back to Coda and Orion's Adventures. I'm Jen. So today we are going to do a tagged video that I got tagged in. So it's going to be the what was the strangest thing that ever happened to me video. And it took me a while to come up with um, what I could think of. So, but we're also going to do uh, continue along with uh, using some of my haul stuff. So I'm going to be using my uh, Norvina Pro Pigment 1 palette. And I also wanted to, real quick, I got some friend mail. I am not going to, I forgot to, I will cover up my address. Cover up my address. It's from Dave. Um, if you go to Dave's Dungeon, I'll link his. Um, it feels like there's a card pack in there. Yes, sneaky devil, yo. Um, but uh, if you go to Dave's Dungeon, if you like baseball cards, sports cards, memorabilia stuff, he, um, great guy, nice guy, he does lives and he opens packs of cards and stuff, you can buy them from him, he's fantastic, but I'll link his, um, his channel down below, so, there's the Christmas card he sent me, it's so sparkly, this is very, very cute, show enough, you stinker. Aww. And, um, it's Dave Durango is his channel and his channel name, but everybody calls his, um, you go to the dungeon and you watch him <laughs> open cards. Uh, and it says, Jen, I'm glad we have had the pleasure of meeting. I look forward to getting to know you better. And it says, May your Christmas be filled with the magic and splendor of the holiday season. Merry Christmas. So that's what it looks like inside. And then he sent me a pack of baseball cards. He's a little stinker. I love that though. What did he send me? I'll have to add him to our collection that we got going. My husband has a bunch of cards. Oh, and they're the puzzle ones. Cool. Hold on, look them up. Cool, it's got a puzzle piece. Dave, if you watch this, you'll have to um, let me know if I watched you open this. I think I did. I watched, like, all of his lives, so. Um, yeah, okay, so there's that one release through these really fast. I like that one. I got the name of them. These are really cool. Yay. It's fun to go in there and hang out with all the guys and watch them open their cards. I'm learning a lot of stuff. That and my husband's got quite the basketball card collection, and he's got baseball cards, and football cards, and hockey cards, and this Rasmussen. There's, um, in Portland, there's a whole bunch of Rasmussen stuff. I wonder if they're related. These were the reds. Hmm. Interesting. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, there's um, Rasmussen Farms. Um, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff out there. Well, there's Cal Ripton. Ripkin. I don't know who that is. A baseball player, I know. How cool is that? 
Very cool. Oh, wow. A Hall of Famer. That's a really cool card. Very cool. Very, very cool. Another one. Very cool. Thank you, Dave. Very nice. I'll have to put that up there. That's one way. Fancy schmancy cool stuff goes. So. Very cool. I'll see if I can very gently get them in here. And you can tell me which ones I'm supposed to sleep and which ones I'm not supposed to sleep. Or if I am or if I'm not. I will ask you. My five women. Cool. Thank you, Dave. Your thinker. I thought you were only going to send me a card. Because that's what I thought you were sending me. But I very much appreciate it. That was very nice of you. Now, on to the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. So... I took asking a few people because I couldn't think of it. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna get this out and get it ready to go. Because it's so heavy. Um, but uh, when I was uh, oh. I was eight years old, nine years old, eight years old. I don't remember. I might have only been six. Yeah, maybe I was six. Oh, this is just the um, I got the travel size of it because I'm just still kind of seeing if I like it. I do like it. It's a really nice light moisturizer and it goes really, really, really well under the uh, moon glow cream. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it was six. So we going way back. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, uh, My grandfather was a very avid hunter and as well as bird hunter. I mean, he was an avid hunter anyway, but and outdoorsman and all that. But he had bird dogs. He had retrievers, which were labs, were his favorite retrievers. And then he had... Uh, his pointers, which his favorite pointers were uh, German short hairs. And um, so he had just gotten this older, usually he gets them from pups. And then um, he starts training process when they are about um, three months old, you know, two and a half, three months old, usually about three months old is when he would start it. Um, but this time around, he came across this older male, uh, lab that was supposedly fully trained, ready to go. Um, through his recommended by his normal trainer. Um, so he thought, okay, why not? Let's, let's check it out. So he goes, checks it out, checks his dog out. Dog performs phenomenally well. So he's like, okay, let's do it. Uh, so he gets his dog, he brings it home. Which happens to be my mom's birthday. 
so we all have we were all over at my my grandparents oh sorry got the hiccups now so we all happen to be over at my grandparents house the day that he brings this dog home um and this dog's name is goliath just for reference uh -oh. so uh i everything goes really well with the dog meeting the family and you know hanging out we all know how to act around a new dog meeting the family all of that right everything goes according to plan everything's fine so we're getting ready to go my, my mom and my stepdad had come back from my mom's best friend's house they had gone over to visit and um because they lived just down the street and uh so so they had come back and and my parent my mom and my stepdad said okay let's go it's time to go say goodbye so i went down into the sunken living room to just kind of say goodbye to the dog and so I just, I didn't even, you know how some kids, they get down in a dog's face and they're all up in their business and they won't leave them alone and they're like smothering the dog. I didn't do anything like that. I just knelt down and I was petting the dog just, just like this, right? And, um, next thing I know, the dog right here and I'm like paralyzed I can't move um but I'm screaming of course and uh and there's blood dripping down my whole head and my face and you know next thing I know my um my mom has me and mind you she couldn't have I was six years old my mom's five foot <laughs> This is a bitty little thing. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the pictures of my mom. <laughs> she's a tiny thing. So, yeah, she couldn't pick me up. Uh, but, yeah, so, so, my, I, I, at that point, I pass out. I don't remember much of anything. I mean, I don't really pass out. It just kind of all goes into a blur, really. Um, my uh, my mom. I remember my grandmother handing my mom a bunch of towels, and then I remember my grandma. My grandma. My grandmother was a nurse. Um, she was head of. She was head of nursing in one of the biggest nursing homes in Portland, here in Oregon. And um, so, but my whole life growing up until she retired. And then um, <clears throat> and then I remember my mom she still got me right she's still carrying me and uh, her and my grandfather my grandfather had this big old huge ford pickup and i was really high off the ground and my mom just hops into this truck and next thing i know i'm in the emergency room and my mom is like freaking out uh and um but they let her back there with me because you know but and then 
um, apparently my stepdad was <laughs> followed behind. I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't know. This is just what everybody told me afterward. Uh, but, so, um, then they get all done and what was cool I thought um, and this is kind of the strange part at this point in time was that it was my mom's 23rd birthday on the 23rd of August and I ended up with 23 stitches so that was pretty interesting until um, they were they were like where's all this bleeding still coming from uh, and they couldn't figure it out 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 um, so finally they looked on the side of my head and behind my ear and they ended up putting in six more stitches so when you see my hair down because it's it's still very much there um, and yeah I was six almost seven because my mom had me when she was 17 so there you go you can do the math um, <laughs> I'll let you guys figure it out. Um, she, uh, so yeah, I guess I was six. Um, um, but yeah, so, but then this dog, we couldn't figure out why. Everybody, the only person who saw anything happen was my uncle. Well, my uncle was only, he was like 16, I think. So nobody, nobody was like, stupid teenager, and we're just going to listen to him. And he didn't really say a whole lot. You know, he was just kind of wrapped up in his own little world. But, um, but then two weeks, oh, rewind a little bit. So. That night, we weren't done at the hospital. When um, when they found those spots that were still bleeding, and they told me that I would have to get more stitches, I lost it. Because mind you, the um, the numbit shots that they give you hurt so insanely bad on a six-year-old's head it was mortifying I, I mean it was just that it was so painful I still remember that pain and I've been in a world of, I, I've had eight kidney stones <laughs> I know pain <laughs> I've got spinal cord I know pain I still remember that pain that was that's very vivid in my head um that that kind of pain is just and trauma you know onto it uh, they ended up having to, oops there go my crutches um they ended up having to strap me down to the bed because um i like i said i lost it and they ended up kicking my mom out they brought my stepdad in um I forgot my primer. Uh, I guess I can just do a little pore filler stick in, huh? That'd be fine. Um, but uh, yeah, so they uh, so I ended up in the hospital back then when you got something like that done, like in the emergency department, you ended up with things like 
stuffed frogs and as a kid. So I ended up with two stuffed frogs. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, so that's what happened then. Well, then I wasn't done that night, right? It's not like I could go home and rest. No, I had to go home and hang my head over a sink for another, oh my gosh, I think it took my mom like another two and a half hours. My hair at that point um, was so super duper thick. I used to have really thick, really wavy black hair. Um, and it was down to my waist <laughs> at that point in time. Um, medication and health stuff has since made me lose a lot of my hair. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so when they put my stitches in, the part in my hair now, um, when they put my stitches in, all they did was just jump, shave, right, a big wide spot. And then I think, no, it's my right side. Is it my right side? Yeah, it's my right side. So I have a little scar right here, right here, and then the whole back of my ear, right? So they shaved. A little spot right where that scar is and then I think they shaved just up around my ear because it's just behind my ear but they needed to get in here right so they shaved just those areas and uh, they left the matted bloody hair it was down to my face so when mom had to go in and she had to wash all that out and I had to hang my head over the sink until she was done. We were there until like 3 or 4 in the morning hanging the head over the sink. So strange, tragic, never could figure out why the dog did this, right? For the one, you know, two weeks. We're trying to figure this out. My grandfather's like, well, did she pose here? Did, you know, did she do the normal kid thing, right? No. So then, I knew I, I kept saying, I didn't do anything, Granda. I didn't do anything. I swear, I didn't do anything. I swear, I didn't do anything. Then two weeks later, my uncle, not the one who saw me, my other uncle, um, he was in the backyard playing with Goliath, playing fetch with um, uh, a decoy. A training decoy which are totally different they're not like a bird it's a completely different thing um, it's a weighted long cylinder on a rope basically and, um, and he was playing with that working on training Goliath a bit more just to kind of refine things the way that my grandfather liked things done and um my uncle just he was sitting next to or he was kneeling next to, next to goliath and he just got this odd feeling he said and so he um he turned his head away from him just in time for goliath to rip his ear off he ended up with all of this having to be re-sewn back onto his face um, that of course you know I mean my grandfather was there my grandfather saw and and knew that you know obviously my uncle had done nothing wrong therefore I had been vindicated <laughs> um, and they didn't think that I had done anything wrong because, you know, I had been around the dogs my whole life and I had never ever done anything crazy like that before. So why would I have ever done anything crazy like that now? Um, 
but they didn't know. You know, kids can be dumb. And often are. So, uh, so the dog immediately went to the vet to be put in holding to be put down. Um, and what I mean by holding is they have to put them in a 10 day holding period to uh, make sure that there's no rabies, things like that. Um, so, and my grandfather uh, was somebody that you did not want to cross. So, he called the guy that he bought him from. Where did my sponge just go? There it is. Um, the guy that he bought him from. And the guy that he bought him from said, um, I got him from another guy. I just kind of honed his training and recommended him to you. And his trainer, which is the guy he bought him from, said, I'll do some digging. He did some digging. Obviously, he gave my grandfather a full refund back, I believe. Um, yeah, I believe he did. Um, and, uh, do I want to fish? No, I don't want to fish. Um, yeah. And, um, come to find out, the dog had been force trained. What I mean by force trained is he had been beaten, beaten basically into submission until he got the training that who the guy that the trainer that um, the legitimate trainer, <laughs> um, my grandfather's legitimate trainer had received him from. So, anyway, uh, the guy who beat the dog, or strained the dog, got turned in, as far as I know. And, um, the dog obviously got put down, but he had brain damage from the force training. And he would just snap for no particular reason. And that's what happened. And I got it, and my uncle did. And so that's what happened, unfortunately. So. Couldn't have asked for a worse type of situation, but strange at the same time because, you know, we had absolutely no clue as to how or why or what was causing the behavior. I mean, it was just none of it, absolutely none of it made a lick of sense. Oh, ready for the stack. Wait, stuff works though. But, uh, yeah, I mean, dramatic, strange. But believe it or not, you know, I mean, everybody thought that from then on I would be just absolutely terrified of dogs. And I was, I mean, I was hesitant of dogs for a long time. Um, but, I mean, I was not afraid of dogs. And I think part of that 
of why that was, was because um, was because I spent all of my time at my grandparents' house. And there was, we had the family dog, which was Spunky, the greatest dachshund that ever lived. And um, no one will ever change my mind on that. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's a very biased opinion, but it is the truth. It just saying. Uh, yeah, I loved my Spunky dog. And, uh, and, um, uh, yeah, I mean, and then he had, uh, at the time I got the bet, he had two German short hairs, and then. He ended up with the sweetest lab, female lab, Midge, on the planet. Such a doll. She ended up having two litters of pups, I think. Just a doll. I mean, literally. Sweetest, sweetest, sweetest lab ever besides our lab that we had growing up because we ended up getting a lab as a family I want to say like a year or so later so um, gonna give it a go again with a wet sponge this time so yeah definitely works better with a wet sponge um we have the 23 stitches on the 23rd that part was pretty strange, but pretty freaking cool. It's too bad I couldn't stay that way. You know. Um, so. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've had ex other strange experiences in my lifetime, but many of them totally inappropriate. Many of them are not like worthy of repeating because they're just kind of like, meh. Um, at least in my opinion. Um, some people might be like, that's really cool. Why didn't you talk about that? Because I didn't think it was the strangest thing ever. Um, I've had other, like, I don't know, encountery type strange things, I guess. No, I don't want to talk about that kind of stuff, so I don't know if you'd call it. I, I just don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's get down to why we're really here. Not really why we're really here. We're really here just to kind of hang out and chit chat and, you know. Um, let me know down below if you guys have had weird strange experiences too you know i did uh, okay i did I get ready with me with this palette thought it recorded it deleted itself <laughs> so 
there was that. Anyway, I really liked it. So I'm just going to do kind of a quick little look with it. Have some fun. I might even throw in this just for giggles. Because, I don't know if I'll ever wear it as a, a blingy highlight. But, you know, we'll go there. We'll see. Oh, let's get some, some fluff on. Why not? Okay. So, what color shall we do? What color shall we do? What color shall we do? Hmm. I got some steampunk pants on in brown today. Wearing a black shirt. Why not go with orange? Let's do it. I'm going to go in with E2. Holy mackerel. Yeesh. Okie dokie. Here we go. This reminds me of... Um... She's dust. In the conspiracy palette. Totally does. Oh my gosh. It so reminds me of cheese dust. It so does, and I totally didn't do my brows. Oh my gosh. Oh well, I'll get them. My hair is whacked out today. I don't know what in the world he is doing out there. I mean, he got a bunch of lettuce. Well, he's putting groceries away. He's doing grocery shopping. He's doing most of them away, but uh, he put them all away. He's been so amazing since I had surgery. I do not know what I'd do without him. I love him so much. So what did y'all get for Christmas? I got a bunch of clothes. This shirt included. I have one just like it. Um, but you can never go wrong with more black. But yeah, I got this shirt. Um... And a ton of other clothes. No, I'm not doing a fashion show. <laughs> In case anybody's going to ask. Um, I got the new Downton Abbey movie. Because I don't know if you guys remember me saying it. If I said, I am a Downton Abbey fanatic. Absolutely love it. Hello, my beautiful girl. How are you? What are you doing down? Um, and I got some green. I don't know what that is. And I have since spent it on goodies. Um, I don't know if you all know. Uh, Gerard Cosmetics has 51% off. Everything I'm going in with E4. Um, of everything on her site. And I think I'm just going to go all over the board with this. Um, and she has mystery boxes. She has a $25 one, a 70 Seven dollar one, I think, is that's the one I got. Um, and then a hundred and some odd dollar one. I have never tried Gerard Cosmetics, 
So I got that mystery book and I got a setting spray, a mini one. So I'm super duper excited. I don't know, you will see it all unfold here. So you can be excited with me. Um, and I, uh, I ordered some stuff from Alter Ego. Finally, I kind of went ham. I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything. <clears throat> but 2020, I'm on a no-buy. Why? Because the honey went even more ham than I did. So. Uh, so my stuff will be Playing with makeup. Um, maybe a few mini hauls. We'll see. Depending on what the budget allows. And then, um, because you know me, <laughs> I got my clearance holes. Which, oh, shoot, I got a whole bunch of stuff out there that I did get on clearance. Um, I hit up the Christmas. After Christmas sale, um, and uh, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, and um, boxy and the box, you know. The usual. So. But, and then we're, as soon as they have peels, we'll be going on adventures. Because I don't want to have cabin fever. So, there's that. So, just gonna do this under the eye. I think I'm gonna go in here with the D3 and kind of deepen up that outer V a bit. Um, just a bit. Um, did on, did on, did on. Oh, the packer brush. Yep. And we're going with D3. Just kind of deepen up that B. Line just a smidgen. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that.
Does anybody have one eye that just kind of goes a little patchy and weird no matter what you do? That would be me. And that would be this eye. I think it just hates me. Seriously. I mean, I think it just pfft, hates me. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with a kind of a larger brush here. And I'm going to go in with E1. Which is a shimmery just a bit. And I'm just gonna swipe that all the way down. Okay. I don't want to get it wet. Because I don't wanna be I don't want it to be like wham in your face. I want it to be very subtle. Just a hint. Just a kiss. So far, we're going to use the gold out of the Jeffree Star as our highlight. Does that make sense? So I just want to kiss this across the lid. Kiss this. No, that's the song you can sing along in your head. <laughs> you know, you get 10 seconds to name that tune. Not anymore. So, I am going to definitely be doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, it will be coming up soon. I just want to wait for the orders that I have coming in and then we'll be doing the giveaway. Uh, so if y'all can just hang on and wait for that, that would be fantastic. Um, anyway, uh, Candy Sass is the one who tagged me in that Strangest Things video or Strangest, Strangest Things strangest thing that has ever happened to me video so i will link her video or her yeah i'll link her video down below where she tagged me um so you guys can go check hers out um and see what her strangest thing was that's ever happened to her like i said i i have some pretty strangest things like uh, when I met my dad for the first time, my biological dad for the first time, but I didn't want to copy her because anyway, so there's a very similar gold in here to Jeffrey's gold. Jeffrey's gold is darker though. A4 to Jeffrey's gold. Anyway, same brush. I did, just did a quick change, color changer. So I'm just going to go in here, swipe it, swipe it, swipe it. And they need to, let's see, so this, oh. this is going to be my brow bone highlight, but I'll be right back because i got to do my brows. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so, here we go. Now that the hair is sufficiently wet, oh. we have that done. That. What do you think? That's what we've got rocking. Kind of an orangey, pinky, sunsetty. Oh, now it's gonna get loud. It's dinner time for the puppies. So what I did with my lips, besides try and break fingernails, anyway, is I did my normal 
you know, my favorite, Milani. Number three. And there goes Orion. In the nude. And then, um, I got this in the Charm Room, Box Pop-Up. I don't remember. It might have been Box Pop-Up a while ago, though, the first one. Um, this is the Butter London. Where is the shade? This is the Glazen Lip Glaze in shade Rose Dust. Okay, and I put that on. And then I took mm, this crazy little tiny fan brush that I have. It's super duper old and as you can tell by the handle. Took that and I took it in this and dusted it over the center of my lips. So there we go. That's what's rocking with the lips. I put a little bit of this kind of on, you know, just a little bit on the top. It is also my brow bone and inner corner, corner highlight. So there's the look. Sorry the video was so long, but now you know a chunk of my childhood. Um, probably more than you wanted to know. Anyway, so um, there you go. Let me know down below what you guys thought. Um, and... Um, what do you guys think of these things? So, let me know. Anyway, uh, go out and have an adventure, even if it's just to the grocery store. Blessings to y'all. Love ya. Bye.